In this video, we'll convert from grams of calcium to atoms. And we can see from this little graphic here that we can't go directly from grams to particles. What we have to do is change it to moles first. So we're going to take the grams of calcium atoms at 73.25. And this is just a number I made up. It can really be any number. We're going to take that, divide by the molar mass. That'll get moles. We'll take the moles and multiply by Avogadro's number. That'll give us particles, which are atoms, molecules, or ions, for example. So we take our 73.25 grams. And we're going to divide that by the molar mass, in this case because it's just calcium and atom, and be the atomic mass of 40.08, and the units for that are grams per mole. So when we do the division, grams on top and bottom, they cancel out. We end up with 1.83 moles of calcium atoms. So we now we have our moles, we can multiply that by Avogadro's number, and we can get the number of calcium atoms. So we have 1.83 moles of calcium atoms, and we'll multiply that by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And that's the number of atoms in one mole. So we multiply, and then we have moles on top and bottom. Those cancel out. We're left with atoms of calcium. And we could convert this to scientific notation if we're asked to do that. So that's how we get from grams of calcium to moles. We have our grams, we get to moles, divide by the molar mass. Once we have our moles, we just multiply by Avogadro's number and we get the number of calcium atoms. And that's how you really do any of these problems when you're given grams to atoms. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.